Hey, it's Dorlene again, and I had mentioned earlier that I, with my junk journal, my art junk journal, well, um, I went through the first one already. If you haven't seen it yet, just go back to my list of um, videos and you can see it. And now we're going to go through signature number two. So here's the cover of this one. And what I did here is I obviously made circles. <laughs> and so I really like the idea of doing the circles with the different colors. And then it was like that for the longest time. And then I had found this old stamped image of Alice. And so I thought, oh, she looks super cute right there. So that's why I added her there. So that's the first page. And then on this page, um, this was just kind of a little bit of a mop up. And usually what will happen is when I'm ready to work on the page, that's when I'll add maybe a little bit more details. I mean, I, this I could tell I did a, um, a stencil. So then I work on the page. So here I just added a die cut butterfly and then added some stamping and I did a, a sentiment. Because this is for me, it's just a fun little journal that I, I mess around with. Sometimes I'm just trying new techniques. Sometimes I'm using new stamps or sometimes I just want to create something messy. So that's what I do. I love this stamp with the roller skates. I think that's so cute. And then this was a tab from work. It was, um, yeah, that's what you call them, like index tabs. And they were going to be thrown away. So I kept them. They're just, they were plain white. And then I added the, you know, whatever I put on the top to cover the tabs. It's a picture of my granddaughter. And uh, this was at a birthday party. Here's, I know for a fact I did this one um, a video already because I showed how to do the tip in. So here we go. Isn't that pretty? A lot of sprays, a lot of ink. This was another video I know I did. This was watercolor and just some roses with some with some gold and some glitter. That's a lot of fun. Um, with this one, I did, that's on the back side and you can see how I have the they had to be fringe on this side because it was this, you know, the whole idea of take what you need. This right here, I loved it so much and I got a lot of compliments. I actually took a picture of it and I do have cards, note cards, of, uh, what is it, four and a quarter by five and a half note cards that I do sell um, if you're interested in that. Um, you can see all the details because this will also be posted on my blog, which is www.craftsinthecommandcenter.blogspot.com. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can also leave them there or you can leave them at the bottom of this video. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, I would love it if you'd subscribed and give me a thumbs up. So these, this little portion, um, is, um, when you order cards, this, they give you like a blank one. I don't know why. So that's what this is. It was just a blank card. So I put it in there, added a tab, threw some stuff in. And you can see if you look real closely, this was this is my um, my cover, like my desk sheet. So it, it was definitely a mop up just from leftover inks and stuff. So I just trimmed it down and then added a, a, another stamp there. This is the back of that. Just kind of did the same thing, added a little girly. There's another spray, and then I use that butterfly that you saw over here is what I used here to mask it. So you can see the color of the butterfly is the color there. I love this junk journal because, like I said, look at you can tell it's torn there, ripped there, but it doesn't matter. You can still use it. This one I um, participated in the iCAD, iCAD challenge. You can read more about that on my blog, but basically it's an index card a day challenge during the summer. 61 days and I did this one on this postcard of a beach and I had this leftover picture of my mom when we were in Acapulco so I thought oh my god I'm gonna put it in the junk journal and then I kind of embellished on it with the shells and I you know carried it over you could see the Acapulco Mexico um this one was I had had a stencil that I used for something else and then I sprayed it with the yellow and then inside there, I painted, um, you know, just different splotches and then made little marks here and there with either my marking pens or uh, stamps. Uh, this is just some stamps that I use, layers of washi. I like that. Um, this was a stamp that I bought and it, <laughs> I was messing around with it because it was one of those stamps. It's a, a blank stamp, but then also had solids and I really couldn't figure out which solid image was supposed to go in which section so when I stamped it I moved it and 
it just kind of got kind of blurry, but I really like it in this journal. Probably need to put some kind of quote or something in here because that would finish that off. And one of the fun things about the junk journal is you can vary the size of the paper, um, and in this case, the where it's placed. So it gives it just a little bit of interest that needs to be done. I, I call, these are my incomplete blank pages, even though they're not technically blank, but um, they still need something to go on it. Same with this. I was, this was a little piece of pattern paper, or a scrap of paper that was left over and I didn't want to toss it. So I just glued it in there. I'll do something with it. Um, same with this in a sense. I had stamped that image, didn't use it for the card that I was making and I didn't want to just sit there or throw it away. So I just added, this has a place to write stuff. So I'll probably write something. Um, some more fun splotches. This was a card that I received and then I just added the verse there and then added it in here. Here's the back side of that. Remember that paper that was um, set up? Oh, where is it? This one here. So that's the back side of it. This was just a bookmark that I had. I just glued it on. Again, another blank piece. Here's one. Some of them I might not have thought, like this is finished. Really all I have to do is put a quote or I might do something completely different. I just really don't know. Um, this is a picture of myself and my daughter that we took. So that was a lot of fun. I just kind of messed around with colors with that. And then here's a, another one that was just really a mop up. And then I just kind of continued to add color and color and color, do some flowers. And then originally, um, it was just, that was on the other side. I thought it was really it's pretty bright. It's got a lot of color. So I added with washi tape this vellum piece. So it kind of tones it down a little bit. Um, I mean, I still really like that. I love that flower. But you know, it, here is a window envelope. Um, and so that's kind of fun that I placed the quote in the back so you can see through it, but it's not, not necessarily part of it. And then on this side, what's peeking out is Dorothy. So that's kind of fun. And this is, yeah, that's a hot mess. That needs to, we need to do something with that. Um, I think with this one, I was playing around with the stencil. I didn't really like the way it looked. And then this piece here, I made a copy of another piece of art. And then I just stamped the flowers and the, the sentiment. But I'll show you, because it's in a couple signatures down, that piece, I'll refer to it. So I do that a lot. I'll make something and then I'll use it again because that's a lot of fun. This one is U-G-L-Y ugly, but I have this um, little tag topper with the flower and the banner and the sentiment. So I just thought because of the black background, it looked good there. So that's why that one was there. Um, this was so fun. I, I really like this one. Gives you a big, good summer vibe. And then... Um, more uh, mop up. This one I definitely did a YouTube video for. So if you want to see that one in action, you can see me. I love the colors of this. So pretty. And I actually made a homemade stencil with that one too. So that's fun. Just putting paint on the paper. This was a gel print and I added some flowers. Again, this was from my stash that were kind of just solo flowers and we we're going through things and I hate, I don't want to throw things away. And a lot of these things are just perfect. If you don't have a specific project for them, you know, I put them in here. Um, and then this is the back and this is the third signature. So if you're interested in seeing what's in here, just um, hold on. You will see a video on that soon. So if you have any questions again on any of the pages that we saw, please leave me a comment either here or on my blog. If you're not a subscriber, I would hope that you would hit my subscribe button and you can see all of these videos. And uh, other than that, I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.